Luxair Jets is excited to announce the new most convenient way to fly non-stop from Lexington to historic Saratoga Springs throughout the racing meet. We are now offering exclusive group packages on our luxurious private jets. Each package offers a once-in-a-lifetime experience that you can share with your friends, family, or business partners. Call for pricing and availability. We're in a crowded pad in the crowded paddock here with the Saratoga Report, brought to you by Luxair Jets. Going to talk some news, going to talk some workouts. Going to start with a magnificent performance turned in on Wednesday's program by Sunset Ridge for Chad Brown, the three-year-old New York bred filly, remained undefeated, won uh, an allowance race by 16 and three-quarter lengths and uh, did so about as easy as can be. And because she won so easy, Chad now has the luxury to bring her back in 16 days because he said if all goes well, she's going to return going a mile and an eighth in the Fleet Indian on New York Showcase Day. That's August 25th. So uh, big thumbs up for Sunset Ridge today. Coming up tomorrow morning, if you're out here early, want to get to the Oklahoma uh, training track, you'll get to see Haskell runner-up McCracken working. He's going to have his first local work as he gets uh, prepared uh, down the road to run in the Travis McCracken. As I said, coming out of a second place finish in the Haskell. That was his first start since his troubled trip in the Kentucky Derby. Also on Friday, Mind Your Bissett's going to have his uh, real serious work for the upcoming forego for trainer Chad Summers. Just an easy half mile last week. Joel Rosario will be aboard for Mind Your Biscuits. He's going to do some serious stuff on Friday here, and I think that'll be on the main track. Saturday's overnight was drawn today. One thing uh, most noticeable about Saturday's card, besides the two very good stakes, the four-star Dave and the Adirondack, is a lot of the big riders will not be here. They're going to be at Arlington for the Arlington Million. Gone will be both Ortiz brothers, Joel Rosario, Julian LaPeru. Uh, uh, all will be uh, in, in Chicago. We will have Javier Castellano, though, and Johnny V. They will be with us here Saturday. Uh, also, Florent Giroux. Florent Giroux will also uh, be in Chicago on Saturday. Going to look ahead to a couple of the upcoming stakes and some workouts that uh, I've seen. Thursday is the New York Stallion Series second leg for the three-year-old fillies on the turf. A couple of horses in there that are working well. Paz the Bourbon, I've seen uh, her a couple of times on the grass. She's handled it well. On uh, July 28th, she broke off a couple of lengths behind a Christophe Clement team and actually passed them down the stretch. Came home in 24 and changed and did it easily. I like what I saw from Paz the Bourbon. Also, uh, Lady Joan had a nice stamina enhancing mile work for trainer Phil Serpy. That was on the main track. Finished pretty well. And uh, she's coming in off a big effort. And uh, Phil said the further she goes, the better for Lady Joan. Friday's feature uh, is the uh, quick is the tail of the cat excuse me for new york bred sprinters and a bunch of those horses have been working here recently uh loose on the town is going to break from the rail uh he had a very easy half mile uh just the maintenance work with uh, javier castellano aboard his last work Catherine is the horse i really like the way uh, he's coming into the race he was just cruising in his last workout a half mile in 48 flat Looked like he was going a lot slower. It was uh, kind of surprising to look at the watch and see he went in 48, as easy as he was going. Katerin uh, breaking from post two for Jeremiah Engelhardt. Weekend hideaway. This is his sixth straight year. He's going to run a race at Saratoga. And as usual, coming off a good work, 47 and change uh, the other day. So uh, weekend hideaway uh, looks like he's coming in. He had a uh, scratched out of the Morrissey last time with a little foot injury, but obviously uh, the the foot is healed and he's doing well. He's coming off a victory in the commentator. He actually defending his defended his title successfully and also won over the million dollar mark in career earnings with that win. And uh, also not to forget the two uh, uh, tra trainer David Jacobson entrance in the tail of the cat. That's Chief Lion and the uh, old pro stalwart and dude. They both blew out this morning actually and of the pair Chief Lion sure looked the best. I like the way he went. He had some good energy. Stalwart and dude. Boy he looks like a, a seven or eight year old the way he uh, uh, blows out in the morning but uh, he seems to run better in the afternoon so we'll have to see how that turns out but I uh, really like the way Chief Lion and Katerin and also Weekend Hyder are coming into the tail of the cat. Like I said a big weekend ahead. Saturday 11 races on the card. The Adirondack is the 
co-feature for two-year-old Phillies. And later in the day, we'll have the four-star Dave, a great field of six well-matched uh, older horses on the turf with time test, the likely favorite. And we'll uh, talk about those races as we get closer and closer later in the week right here on the Saratoga Report, brought to you by Lux Air and, uh, and everything else Saratoga-wise as we move further and further into the meet. It's all right here for you on DRF.com.